Today is a beautiful Monday morning. Let me just see. The weather is nice. I'm in a good mood. About to make me some coffee and then um, start getting ready. Today I start working at 10 o'clock, which means that there was no like pressure per se. <laughs> To wake up super early also I have this customer who saw that I bleached Brittany's wig right and she bought a wig at my job and wanted me to you know get it a little bit lighter for her and she kind of said she wanted it to look exactly like Brittany's and this is what we we came up with here it's nice and lightened I feel like the camera does it no justice though I left the roots a little bit dark and then everything else is nice and like golden. But I feel like it really isn't showing on camera. Let me see if I can get a picture of it. Yeah, but I feel like it really isn't showing on camera like that. Like how nice and golden it is. The gag is, I really hope she likes it though because I don't want to have to bleach it again. These are all I use to get it the way it is right now. And I'm going to pop it back inside of this bag and take it to work with me. Because she should, she should be coming in today to, you know, kind of see what it looks like. She travels on a Wednesday and she wanted me to install it for her. But she didn't want to have to install it too early either. But I'm off on a Wednesday. Because she wanted to see if she could come Wednesday morning to get it done. But I'm like, I'm off on Wednesday. And she was like, so you couldn't come in and do it for me? And I'm like, um, why not? I live too far. And two, it's my day off. You think I want to leave home on my day off to come put your wig on? No. So I was telling her that, you know, somebody there could do it for you too. And she's like, no, I want you to do it. And I kind of get that too. You know, when you're particular about something and... Like, people, you know how sometimes you're specific about a particular person? That's the person you want to go with, and that's the person you want to do what you want to do with, and I guess I get that. Anyways, I'm going to make some coffee, and I've kind of started getting ready. I'm literally just wearing my undershirt. I'm going to make some coffee, make a sandwich, and um, see what's in the fridge for lunch. Yesterday I came home. I left work at like 5 o'clock and Dwayne picked me up. So I was home super early and that's when I bleached the hair. And like, you know, pretty much just spend some time chilling really. Ate dinner, chilled for a little bit. Felt really good to be home early and not 10 o'clock for a change. So leave it up to me to set my alarm where I don't wake up so early because I work at 10 o'clock this morning. I set my alarm for 6.50 a.m. so that I have like an hour to move around, get ready, make some breakfast and stuff like that. And then um, leave the house at like 7.50. And this morning when I woke up, it was six o'clock. And I'm just like, body, just give me a break. All of last week and the three weeks prior and whatever, like the past month or six weeks, I've just been waking up super early because I've had to go to work super early in the days where I do work. And it's just like these mornings when I do get a break, my body has already been in a routine where sis got acclimated to waking up early. So now when I don't want to wake up early, I still just wake up no matter what time I go to bed. And I was kind of annoyed, but I just laid there for a little bit and really relaxed, you know, prayed because in the mornings when I wake up, the first thing I try to do is pray, you know, just to show my gratitude for pretty much just life and stuff like that. So um, I prayed and I was just there chilling for a little minute before I even decided to like get up and I got up around 6.30 and really started moving around, getting my hair together because yesterday my hair was a shit show. Um... And today is Tuesday, but I'm off Wednesday and Thursday. No, today's Monday. I'm off Tuesday and Wednesday. And then I go back Thursday, Friday, and Saturday for the rest of this week, which is pretty dope. Um, the other three days, I'm going to go in at like 9.30. But one of the days, I leave at 7. The other two, I leave at 7, which works still, you know. When I leave work at 7 o'clock, I 
get yo my eczema too is is on one because i've been eating these philly cheesesteaks and stuff um when i leave at seven i get home at nine which kind of works out for me still still a little bit early where i can get enough sleep to wake up at 5 40 or 6 o'clock the next morning so i'd say i'm crushing it right now but um i have um some water heating up to make some tea and i'm gonna make a nice little egg sandwich and one time i feel like you know i'd be so comfortable being stuck inside of my comfort zone in the sense where you know like somebody would ask me um you know how to make wigs if they saw me making a wig at my job and i'm like yeah no not really but now i just feel like you know how sometimes you know how to do something and a lot of times i see people and i'm just like oh i don't know what my passion is you know you don't know what you can do you don't know what your niche is but truth is most times it's already right there and you're doing it and it's like the same way how people ask me um who does your nails and I'm like me and they're like you sit down and do it yourself and I'm like yeah and they're like you're lying and I'm just like oh my gosh I can't be bothered to fight with nobody to explain to them that I did this stuff myself and it's just like it's hard for them to believe because it's not something they can do themselves but then to tie it all in Back to the wigs. A lot of time, people at my job will ask me, you know, can you make wigs? And I'm just like, no. And my coworkers would be like, bro, why do you keep telling people you don't know how to do it? When you obviously do. You could be making money from making the wigs for people. But I feel like what my problem is, is that I don't like problems with people. And I feel like black people, too, will just give you the most problems about, like, the smallest things. And I try to stay away from that. Because in a case where, like... You know, I'm the wig that I just showed you guys that I bleached for the lady one time. I tell them that I don't know how to do it. And this is the second or the third one I've done for a customer. And this one, I was just like, I was telling her, I'm like, who told you I know how to do this? And she was like, well, you're going to figure it out. And then she threw the wig at me because obviously it's a customer that I'm comfortable with. And then I showed her the one that I did for Brittany. And she was like, yeah, so I want you to do it. And then the fact that she specifically wants to come back so I could, um install the wig for her and stuff like that it just shows you how comfortable people are with you as a person and then sometimes just that you can't run away from probably what's yours who knows a long time ago lady had told me that you're gonna do hair and nails in the future and i'm just like oh you're funny sis because sometimes when i'm doing some things to hair it just makes me so tired and i feel like it takes so long and it's also not motivating when you know you have the idea in the back of your head that people are not gonna pay you what you want for it and i'm not gonna waste my time to do something just to not get paid for my time so i thought it was funny when she said i was gonna do hair and nails nails man i'm so excited to come and refill my nails in the weeks and on the days where i'm off and stuff like that and the stuff with hair too i do get excited because even last night my husband was just sitting down watching me like bleach the hair and stuff and i felt like i was genuinely just so excited to bleach it and to see the color that it came to. Okay, I feel like I've been rambling for a hot little minute now. And my hair's tied up. And I look like I don't know what is going on. I'm about to go again. From all the meal prepping, there's literally one dish left in the fridge. And I'm taking it with me now. I'm not sure if Dwayne took one this morning. Because I can't remember what was in there first. But the universe works in mysterious ways. It's a good thing I'm off tomorrow. So I can actually get top meal prep again. Because this week, everybody would have just starved. There's the one dish, and I think inside of it, I have some steamed vegetables, some curry chicken, and like some provision, which is what I'm going to have for lunch today. I'm going to leave work at 5 o'clock today. I don't even know what time I'm going to eat that. Anyways, I have that. I, I think I want to run to the grocery store quick, but then too, if I'm not getting picked up, then I might not be able to do that. So, I don't know. Maybe that's going to be a dub. But I guess I'll see as time progresses. I'm going to ask Dwayne if he could come get me. So I could like run to the grocery store and pick up a few items that I'm going to need to meal prep. So I'm done getting ready and I'm about to leave out as I'm looking at my shirt here. I need to go on the Aeropostale website and get some new shirts. Because I really like um, the little Aero t-shirts that you could just throw on all summer long. And they are cheap. And nothing I love more than a nice little deal. But, um, I've, I've already been on there a few times and I have some in my cart. I just felt like the way how I buy things is, you know, I've seen, I look at the items a few times, but I really have to be in love with it before I'm like, all right, this is it. Let me purchase it. So I have to go back and forth a few little times before I actually make the purchase. But I feel like the ones that I've picked out, I really like, 
and there are no new ones since so I could probably go ahead and buy those but I'm about to leave out right now I think I'm also gonna end the vlog off tomorrow so see what I do tomorrow I have the meal prep tomorrow maybe I'll run to the Marshalls and to the mall because I need to get a new shoes and those shirts that I'm talking about but um this is where I'm gonna end the vlog thank you guys for watching I hope you guys enjoyed and I will short as crap see y'all in the next video Thank you.